B Graphics is a full service print on demand shop specializing in custom apparel and promotional products. Directed film printing is a digital transfer technology. It is evolving very rapidly. We changed to direct to film because we were able to produce smaller runs with more colors and on demand prints every day of the week. The beauty of print on demand online stores is you can run a successful business from anywhere. We're in Fredericktown, Pennsylvania at B Graphics. Now let's go inside and see what the buzz is all about. They pride themselves in providing a hassle-free experience for their ever-growing client base, offering super quick turns, custom online stores, and fundraising services. In this episode, they'll show us how directive film printing allows them to take apparel customization to a whole new level. Different styles, colors, sizes, and even multiple graphics, all on one order, no problem. So I'm with Davis Slagle with B Graphics. So Davis, tell us how your uh, company got started. Uh, we started as a screen print business that was purchased out from a previous owner in uh, 2004. And throughout the years, we've grown to do different processes and direct-to-film is our newest one. So what is direct-to-film? Because we hear all types of uh, buzz about that. So direct-to-film is a digital transfer technology. It is the method of printing with a wide format printer and an adhesive is applied to the print and then, then ran through an oven, which gives you a cured direct-to-film transfer. Okay, so you can do any type of artwork and just put it on the film and then you make the transfer and then that's applied to the garment. Exactly, yes. Why did you go from screen printing to the DTF technology? We changed from in-house screen printing to direct-to-film because of the need for smaller runs, more colors, and the ability to, to provide an on-demand fulfillment for our customers. And you mainly sell with online stores? Yes, yeah, so all of our online stores push our direct-to-film printing business. We run daily orders of everything that comes in the day before and they're all processed individually. It doesn't matter if it's 20 designs or 400 designs, they're all being processed through the same workflow. And how many stores do you have? Currently we're upwards of about 450 stores. Sporting teams, events, and small businesses. It varies depending on the customer, and then we also have some niche focuses that uh, we launch stores for. What are the limitations of direct-to-film transfers? There are some limitations with half-toning. It's uh, fading off into garments. Glowing effects are tough, but other than that, it is pretty versed on what it can do as far as thin lines and fine detail. It'll let you apply gradients or effects or dimension to prints that we couldn't do with just our regular screen printing process. What is it like to work here at B Graphics? Tell, tell us about your team. So I'd like to say we're a pretty diverse team. We have a bunch of younger employees that just like to have fun at the workplace. We'll do uh, food days once a week or bring in breakfast. Uh, we let people go an hour early every Friday and it, it seems like it's paid off. Like everyone's happy when they come in, they're happy to be here and we just know when there's a task to get done, everyone can jump in and lend a hand. So who are we gonna meet today, Davis? So you're gonna meet Carol, our sales rep, and she'll walk through the process of how she creates the, uh, the store for what the, the customer is looking for. Brad, who builds the stores. Maddie, who creates the art for them. And you'll also meet Eddie, who will actually be doing the production. Sounds great, let's get started. I'm with Carol Howard, who does the virtual sales here at B Graphics. So tell us more about the versatility of the medium that we're using. We can actually use the BGX prints to print on, say, a cardboard box to the back of a mesh hat. We listen to our customers, what they want us to try. And I think it's what's really fun about this is the inter internet doesn't care where you live, right? Your customers are everywhere. Yes, we are from a small town, but our reach is honestly endless. We have clients in the state of California. We have shipped banners to Hawaii. Online stores are something that 
we continue to grow with. I believe currently we're well over 400. We've come to find that there's a need that after the sale is over with, after people receive their products, they wanna still continue purchasing it. Having an online store in the fundraising aspect um, and have it ongoing is something that someone can buy all year long, support a local team, support a local charity. It makes things so much easier for companies. Tell us about what we're doing today. We're gonna to see a client, we're gonna go through their journey. Walk us through what we're gonna be doing. Yes, we had a client that reached out and they have an event that's coming up and they have a traditional brand. They were looking for some kind of a brand enhancement that would be suitable for all genders, all uh, ages within their family. There's kind of like an ironized effect that you're going to see as well as a retro effect. Again, it'll show you all the versatility and give you the illusions of brand enhancements for uh, a client that traditionally would just be in a black and white imprint. The success for B Graphics wouldn't be possible without online stores. I'm with Brad Wilson, who is the online store creator. So uh, Brad, tell us more about your job. I manage uh, the online stores here at B Graphics. A lot of moving parts, making sure everything's lined up so that uh, not only looks good to the customer, but also works for our production team so that they have all the information they need. One of the nice things about these online stores is we can offer a huge variety of different products across different colors. It, where if we were screen printing it, it would be really difficult to do producing that and now it's just a simple transfer it's easy to to get it out right especially with the old way that we were doing things you know, we'd have to have certain minimums to hit and we have to keep it the same this way we can do three of one color shirt two of another color shirt and 50 of the other color Brad tell us about this store Black Diamond asked us to set this uh, store up for their employees so that they would have a nice variety of products to wear at their event we've got this set up so that you can view all the products here all on one page. Being able to offer so many different products with so many different prints, our customers really love it because they're not relegated to just one thing. It's all about efficiency when you have a lot of online stores. I'm with Maddie Miller, who's the graphic designer here at B Graphics. So Maddie, tell us about your job here. So with our new printing process and everything, we have to be a lot more, like you said, efficient with graphic designs. We sometimes start out with templates. At the beginning of sports seasons, we'll make a ton of you know, football templates. And sometimes we're able to ask the team, you know, which templates do you like best? And then we take their colors, we take their logos, and we plug them in, and it gets it done a lot quicker. When you're working with a salesperson like Carol, right, and she gives you hey, we're gonna do something for this client. Walk us through how you guys take her instructions and make it work for the project. So with Black Diamond, they said, you know, we want a variety of products for our employees to wear at work or just out and about. We make some of those look more corporate for them to wear at the offices, and we make some a little more fun for them to wear. Mm -hmm. If they're uh, going to hang out with their friends, they can wear a Black Diamond shirt and still represent the company, but in a really fun way. What is your favorite part about the process? I think my favorite part is you get to design a completely new piece of art for every store. It's just fun to be doing this very unique, different art and learning how to do that. Because um, before I was doing a lot of one color, two color, um, and now we're doing 3D, spilled glitter, metal looks, all kinds of stuff. We usually start with just a flat vector. So once we bring it into Photoshop, we're able to add this spilled glitter look with various actions. We wanted the black diamond, the text to be a little more readable. So we used the clipping mask to put the glitter inside and then put the spilled glitter over top of it. So another design we've been using for the store, this is black diamond's main logo. And we bring it into a program called Affinity and actually make it 3D. So when this is printed on the shirt, it looks exactly like it looks like on screen. And it looks like almost like it's 3D puff or 3D metal that you can actually touch and feel. This is one of our trending styles right now. We have it on a lot of team stores, some of the corporate stores. It's a really fun design. This shows all the different colors and brightness we can go and use in the designs. It just adds a little bit more fun to the stores. We utilize a bin system here to keep our products and our prints organized all the way through production. It allows for a seamless production process and our speed has greatly increased. So Davis, orders have come in for the Black Diamond store and we're getting everything ready for production. So walk us through what we're doing. Absolutely, so we process our orders by daily batches. And then we break them down into smaller groups so our production can handle it. 
Evan will take these products that come in and put them in order with the prints following our production packet. So Evan, if you wanna show them where we're at in this packet and how we are placing them in our predetermined bins so we know exactly where every product is in the process. And what she's doing is she will stack them in order to match how the prints will come back from the printer. And she's actually putting it in in reverse order. So when they go to press, it is in the order they need to have it in to be printed correctly. I'm with Sid French, who is the print room manager. This is where all the magic happens, so walk us through what you do here. Well, I run these big machines here, the direct-to-film printers. It's pretty standard in the realm of like format printers. It prints its standard CMYK colors, but this process adds a fifth color, which is white. So it almost combines digital printing with screen printing, where you would add the white coat before you would put the actual color on a shirt. This combines the two together so that it puts the white on top and makes a transfer that you would just press on from the film. Sid, what are we doing today? Well, we're gonna be running multiple prints in varying colors for different products for a customer of ours. All right, so now that we have our file set up, we have our multiple print layout here with our different size prints, and there it can all be printed on the exact same sheet at the exact same time. It puts the color down on the film first, and then it puts the white ink on top of it. It comes down into the machine where it gets powder applicated to the transfers. It knocks the excess powder off of the transfer. As the printer moves the film down, it comes down into the curing station that almost acts as a flasher for screen printing. And then once they are cured, they come out to the roller here where they get rolled up, unscrew it, and then put it to the cutting table. Climate is very important in a DTF printing room. The ideal temperature is 70 degrees, and the ideal humidity is 40 to 60 percent. This will help your ink flow smoothly through the printhead. So the next part of the process is the actual printing themselves of the garments. So far, we've printed the individual transfers, we've predetermined the garments and how they're organized, and this is where they meet. All the garments have been pre-organized, all the prints have been pre-organized, and he is able to just process one after the next. Our average press time is 10 seconds for 305 degrees, and then once the prints are cooled, they'll be peeled and repressed for another five seconds. Currently, right now, we are going from a t-shirt on one side of the press, and we're printing pants on the other side in the same production. What this allows us to do is to print all different types of garment extremely quickly while jumping back and forth and keeping a steady flow going. The great thing about printing on these jersey products is it doesn't matter if it's on a heavyweight fleece or a lightweight baseball t-shirt, you can achieve great results on any type of fabric. We used a knockout black in the upper part of this design to help reduce the heaviness of the ink, which allows for this print to move and give you a much softer hand. The final step of this process is to take the printed garments, sort them, and bag them for delivery for the customer. So the technology is really early still, right? We don't have major players making equipment, right? There is some literature on how they operate, but not very much. You have to be able to know how to get into these machines, understand what's wrong, diagnose them, and change the parts out. It is evolving very rapidly, and it won't be long until the major uh, Rollins or uh, those types of guys of the world jump into this market, I feel like. So Davis, we really learned a lot today about the DTF process. Thanks so much. Absolutely, we're so thankful Jerseys came in and we were able to show our customer experience as their journey from start of the build of the web store all the way through production and delivery. I think what was really neat is the fact that there's so many different looks, there's so many different colors, and this all is so easy to do with an online store where your customer gets to pick what they want. Absolutely. Using the direct-to-film, we're able to adapt, change, and then diversify the offering, uh, especially using different color garments and different types of them with Jersey's products. Man, your team really rocked it. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to the Jersey's YouTube channel.